In this video, we're going to do another example of a Taylor series. So this is e to the 2x at a equals 3. So let's start the gen with uh, just kind of that general thing about Taylor series. Let me just write it down here. It's the nth derivative evaluated at a over n factorial, and then x minus a to the nth power. And remember that all agrees and it always starts at zero and it goes to infinity. Okay, so we need to list some derivatives. Now remember the first thing, the zero derivative, is just the function. So the function is e to the 2x. So f prime would be 2e to the 2x. f double prime would be 4e to the 2x. Now you'll see it says list the first three terms. This really should be enough. Okay, so let's <clears throat> let's do that. And I might try and do the general term at the end, and, and we'll see if if maybe you know if if I need more, I could always list out you know more that if I need them. Maybe you start to see a pattern here in that coefficient. For example, this is 2 to the first, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the fourth. Power of 2 seems to go right along with what derivative I'm on. So I'll try and write the general term, and, uh, and that'll help. So uh, this, remember, we evaluate at, in our case, 3. So this is going to be uh, e to the sixth, 2e to the sixth, 4e to the sixth, 8e to the sixth, and 16e to the 6. And again, we don't need all of these terms. We're really only going to need, the, if we're only doing the first three, we'll only need these. I just, I wrote more thinking that, you know, maybe it would uh, be useful for us writing a general term at the end. So, e to the 2x at a equals 3. So the first term, we take uh, e to the 6th over 0 factorial, because it's the 0 derivative, and then we have uh, x minus 3 to the 0 power. Uh, you probably don't need to write that, but I just, I'm going to for the first few here, okay? Then we've got uh, 2 e to the 6th over 1 factorial, and then x minus 3 to the 1st. Then we're going to have 4 e to the 6th, 2 factorial, x minus 3 squared. Now it only asks us for um, it only asks us for three terms, so this will probably be enough. Now, it doesn't look like anything's going to zero out. So let's simplify. e to the sixth, remember, zero factorial is one. Anything to the zero power is one, so that first is just e to the sixth. Then we've got uh, 2 e to the sixth times x minus 3. Uh, 4 over 2 factorial is 2, so 2 e to the sixth over x minus 3 squared. So there it is. This is the first three terms of the Taylor series around e, equals e to the 2x at a equals 3. Now, in terms of a general term, it's a little hard to see from here. And that's why I, would, I, would, I do like to kind of write it all down without simplifying, because it's a little harder to see once it is simplified. Um, the general term I know is going to have... I mean, start with the easy part. You know every term's got an x minus 3 to the nth power. That's the easy part. You know it has an n factorial on the bottom. You know it's got an e to the 2x in it. To, uh, excuse me, e to the 6th. Everyone has an e to the 6th. And we kind of made a, a discovery here as we went through these coefficients that 2, 4, 8, 16, to the 4th to the third. So it's 2 to the nth power. So that's my general term. And and these are sometimes hard to spot. You know, it's this part was probably easy. It was x minus 3 to the nth power, right? It's n factorial. That's how we were getting. We could see that maybe in the unsimplified version. Every single one of them had an e to the 6. But that coefficient was 2 raised to the nth power, n being the number of derivative we were on, or the power. So, you know, this was 2 to the first, 2 squared, 
the next one will be 2 cubed, and so on. So there's our general term.